Right, this is going to be a large painting, working title of the dancers. It's based on a smaller study that I've already done and is up on YouTube on my channel. Uh, and it's not going to be identical, but the major elements are going to be the same. Um, you see, it's quite a big canvas, it's about five foot by three or two and a half. I've gessoed it um, and put some medium on to seal it. I don't want any of the paint to be absorbed by the canvas. Um, the video is running at eight times normal speed because I wanted to get it all into a set of three. So uh, the whole series, which there are three, is I think it's about four hours painting time, give or take. So at the moment I'm just laying down a very random coat of paint and texture and um, just playing around really. The thing is I'm, I'm not thinking about any of this and the more complex it is the better. I don't want large areas of flat colour because this really does help bring the painting together when the next layer goes on. Yeah, I'm just continuing to build, build up the canvas it was very deliberate the choice of title for this uh, this series, building a painting, because that's what what we do here. Much more so on the bigger work than on the smaller. Um, it's not an illustrative process. The paint the painting dictates largely what comes next. At the moment, this is just medium going onto the canvas. That's why you're not actually seeing anything happen. Ah, now there's some colouring with it. But texture's important as well. Not to be forgotten. Right. To the left, you can see the painting I'm actually working from very loosely. And this is starting the drawing process now which is pretty hard to make out but believe me it is happening that's the main figure now that I'm just outlining very very loose very rough and still very much subject to change I don't worry too much how about accuracy at this stage also the proportions for this painting are different to the one that I'm working from the one that I'm working from is much more sort of normal 4x3 TV type format, whereas this canvas is more widescreen. So there's going to be more gaps between the figures, but this is a good thing because it will stop me from just copying the other painting. I'll have to actually focus in on this one. So it'll be interesting to do a comparison at the end. So I say the first one was meant to be a study, but it's quite a quite a finished study. It's, it's a bit more advanced than just a sketch. And that's just the, some stairs just to outline a balcony on the left of the painting. On the right it will it will turn into sort of an abstraction of, of a street and some houses. Now, just pointing out the faces. Okay, they're almost like musical notes on a stave, which I quite quite like. It gives the painting a a rhythm. Or it will do, I hope. So just some blocking in. The colours actually it's not titanium white, it's it's a buff white. Titanium white's too too harsh. And it, it dominates too much. Just having the um, a tiny bit of brown in it really helps. So now a bit of filling in. Again, very little of this will probably survive until the end painting, or at the very least there'll be a lot of glazes on top of it, so um, this will all become clear as we go. But even now, you can see the compositions beginning to take shape. And as if by magic, another some more red appears. More blocking. This is an ongoing process. There's no real separate drawing and painting or glazing stage. It, it really is. It really is a construction project. 
and this from a teaching point of view is possibly the hardest thing to impart to students. I remember when I was younger I wouldn't have got it at all so it's no reflection on the students but the fact that a painting can look horrible in process that it doesn't have to look really good at every single stage of the process um, in fact it can look a complete mess so and it's towards the end that it gets tightened up and tightened up and eventually looks like a, a proper painting if there is such a thing so I know some purists will not be happy with that statement. Okay, more blocking in. You can see now I'm just trying to bring out the, s the warmth of the centre band, which is an idea that carried over from the study that I quite liked. So sort of lots of reds, yellows and oranges will form that band across the middle horizontally. Right, just working some primary yellow on straight from the tube here. It's work. The paint underneath it has dried, so this is forming forming a glaze. You can see the paint underneath showing through the sort of pink colour, and it's this that gives it interest and depth. Sometimes I'll work on on wet paint, so it's actually mixed been mixed on the um, canvas, but not not in this case. So I've got all the time trying to bring out this band, this central band of, of warm tones. So, Also, this style of painting relies a lot on an understanding of negative space, of, of treating the background as important as the figures. And what I like as a result, if it especially when it works, is to achieve a sort of ambiguity so that the viewer isn't conscious of, ah, this is background, this is foreground. Um, and that that's the ideal. If I, as much as I hate judging other artists, um, there's an element of that with, with the teaching. And a, a good guide to me of to where someone is is how they treat their backgrounds. And that when people start out they tend to put 100% into the foreground, fore, foreground the, main, the main object and everything else is an afterthought. Uh, good paintings don't work that way, I don't think. So here more blocking in. So the layer below this has really given me the idea of what I want to do, especially along the top. By this point I've got a pretty firm idea of how I want that to be, and it'll end up um, quite sort of a lot of rhythmic downstrokes. But blocking that blue in was just to give me an anchor on that. There you go. I liked it so much. I'm giving it another go. The first, the first coat had a lot of white in it, or a lot of um, buff titanium, and the the second was a more pure cyan. The thing, the thing about painting is all the time the paint is going on to help me see what's happening. And there a lot went on as if by magic. So, my head makes a better door than a window. So we're getting there. This is now taking shape. Now over the course of the next two videos it'll, it'll you'll do so even more. Uh, structurally this painting's now breaking into three. Um, you can see there's a sort of almost, it looks like, almost like three joined up pictures with the first one on the left going as far as the third dancer's right hand side. Then, then there's the centre part with the main dancer which extends virtually to his wrist and then the part on the right. So this will become more pronounced as we go on I suspect. Anyway, thanks for watching and more next time.